Hello everyone, welcome back to my Royal Life News channel. The story for today is in recent years we have come to see the Queen scale back her public duties, especially in the last year since the passing of her husband, the late Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Yet despite being on the cusp of her 96th birthday, the Queen is still going strong, even recovering from a recent bout with coronavirus. There were doubts that the Queen would have the strength to attend a memorial service that was held of Philip last week, but to many people's surprise, she turned up and walked to her seat with minimal assistance. Even in her old age, the Queen is still proving time and time again to be one tough cookie. But of course being tough comes with the territory of being Britain's ruling monarch. The Queen is not only the head of state, she is also head of the armed forces. Life for the Queen isn't just about hosting fancy tea parties and spending time with her beloved corgis. She has a country to defend, and for that reason she's even been trained in how to fire a rifle. Back in 1993, she got to show off some of her shooting skills at an Army Rifle Association meeting in Bisley, Woking. A photograph from the event shows the Queen firing the last shot on a standard SA-80 rifle under the supervision of her chief instructor, Corp. Lieutenant Colonel George Harvey. At the time the photo was taken, the Queen was already in her late 60s, but the truth is, she has been trained to handle firearms since the age of 14. In 2019, a Channel 4 documentary shed light on how the then Princess Elizabeth was trained to fire a Tommy gun given to her by Winston Churchill in Buckingham Palace Gardens during the Second World War. In fact, it was somewhat of a family activity, explained Warwick University's Professor Richard Aldrich, with not only the Queen, but also her father King George VI, the Queen Mother, and others all participating. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.